Good morning. It's another day. I'm on the street. I'm in Nairobi CBD, Central Business District. And I'm on a journey to one of the towns, which is 42 kilometers northeast of Nairobi City, that is Thika Town. So I'll pick here a vehicle at this stage. They always call it the Manchester stage, which is on Ronald Ngala. This is Ronald Ngala. And I will pick this vehicle here. Yes, that is that is 100 bob to Thika Town. So join me. Let's go to Thika. The year is 2024, and see what is happening there. Cool. So one thing is, I always like sitting on the window. Place where the window is can open. We we'll try this. <laughs> and I gave the reason to that reason is uh, the vehicle, uh, the but petrol or diesel always will affect me. And always I like to have circulation where I am. So I'll always look for a window seat. Like this one will open. So we'll wait for this vehicle to get full then the journey will start. So we have left uh, Nairobi CPD. Now we are on Thika Road. Um, exactly 11.04, that is the time we left the CPD. So we are on Thika Road heading to Thika Town. Sometimes I normally say it is two hours to Thika and uh, some other times it is one hour, 15 minutes. So let's see how long will it take on this road. Because these vehicles, as I know, is an express vehicle. We paid uh, while in the station that is in Nairobi CBD. That's where we paid and the door was closed then we have left one thing is you may not see the thicker road very well because i'm sitting at the box side so i'm sorry for that So from Nairobi town or Nairobi city, I had to call it a town as a CBD. It has taken us one hour to think a town. Reason you saw on the on the super highway, uh, we had uh, an accident that has occurred. Okay, so right now we are in Thika town. Uh, before we we dive into this this vibrant city. Uh, we should have a small intro of it. So Deka is in Kiambu County. And a long time ago, because uh, this town, the prominent people are the 
Kikuyu community who are mainly here. I've seen this one is uh, to get a oven. So, long time ago, we had a, uh, the name, how did they came up with the name Dika? We had a fight between two communities. That is the Masai community and the local, the Kikuyu community. It was during the drought and uh, Thika has two, two rivers, the Jania River and the Thika River, which passes through. So the Maasai communities mainly are partially so they have herds of cows, camel, and uh, they move with them grazing around. So this one, this place having a river already, so they had pasture because along the river you will find that uh, uh, grass will grow and uh, the cows will be able to to graze at that place and another thing is uh, for the Kikuyu community it was also perfect for them for cash crop growing of uh, crops okay so what came up is when the Maasai came with their herds because they always have a lot of cows and then we had a fight, okay? A fight broke up, they fought, and then we have a place, it's called the Blue Post Hotel. That is the place where they buried people. So in Kikuyu, it's called Kutika. I'm not a Kikuyu, so I may not pronounce it very well. So, but which, uh, tra you translated that to bury. Okay, so that place, that is where the people who died were buried okay and then you see already Kudika they left the the GU then they left with Dika and another dialect or another understanding of this from the Maasai phrase is Sika which means rubbing a uh, rubbing something on an edge okay so this is where the name came up and uh, this is the town itself Thika town. The year is 2024. In terms of uh, cleanliness, looks very nice. My first impression shows that uh, the place is well good and uh, people are at work. Thika town is full of students because we have too many learning institutions here in Thika town. We have the Mount Kenya University, Harvard, all of them, big, big, big learning institutions are here. So this place is occupied mainly by young generation of the students. Okay? Yeah, it's occupied by the students. So let's have a walk here. And uh, we look for a... If I will get time, I will look for a hotel where we'll eat the local food, which is called... Mukimo. Mukimo because I've already told you that this area is mainly occupied by the Kikuyu community. So Mukimo is one of their, their main food. It's not that like all over Kenya, all of us, we eat Ugali, no. We have different groups or different uh, clans or tribe that uh, they will feed on Ugali. Not all. So Let's move around, let's move around. Let's move around and we see how it is. You can see everyone very busy at work. Huh? Yeah. And one thing is uh, I've, I've liked about it is the marking. You see this? The marking on the road. It's a town, but uh, it is on a level of a city. Our Nairobi CBD will fail, go some of these markings are fed away. I know also here you will find other places where the markings have already faded away. Yeah, but that one just shows how organized it is. Okay. And then we have this, uh, the Del Monte. Del Monte juice. Well, Tika, uh, many, we have a very big farm for the pineapples and they goes on by producing uh, Del Monte juice. 
Yeah, I just love, love how uh, this, I'm interested with the markings on the road. Yeah, that's something that has, has, has gotten my eye, the, that markings. Yes. Can eat my indichoma now. I've seen my juice, my juice there. Let me go and buy it. I think that is, I won't go for the mukimo maybe. <laughs> I had said that I will buy mukimo but now I see these guys who are selling. They're selling this. Uh, I will buy this. Vipi. Mango. In fifty. Uh, so I will take this. Tanzania straw. I'll take this for fifty. <laughs> okay. So I will have this. It's not mango. He has lied to me. This is not mango. This is um. This is uh, paupo, papai. It's not mango. The taste is for paupa. The taste is for papai. Yeah. I think it's a big town. Not even I think. By the look of things, it's very big town. Because it's like this, the institutes. Uh, so this one being an uh, an area for learning, so people have moved from different places of over all over the country to come here to further their studies. So. But the one thing remains that the majority or where this place is, the majority are the Kikuyu, Kikuyu tribe, which belongs to the Bantu, okay? And uh, when I was talking about this, so we'll be moving around each corner of this country, Kenya, just to, to have a clear view of each area and which kind of people you'll find there, which is the main food they normally feed on so here they feed on mukimo but after i've bought this now the mukimo the mukimo issue i don't see me buying it again then another funny thing is this one I think it is my third time visiting Pika town. The first time I came, I, had, I came to do a test for the driving. That is when I came to Pika town. I remember I booked a vehicle from my place to that place exactly and then I went back like that without even moving around. The second time came, I was coming for a police clearance, that's a good conduct. Also, I booked a vehicle and I came. <laughs> so now today, I can walk around, but I don't know exactly where I am, but just moving around. Okay. mode of transport are tuk-tuks tuk-tuk and motorbikes I've seen too many tuk-tuks all over you may confuse it with the 
like you are in uh, coastal region Mombasa too many tuk-tuks here I cannot go back if I go back here I will be going the place of the market place where I bought this This place business is booming because of the students also. People well, can see too many shops are selling cloth. See where we have the young generation. You need to sell things that are go in hand with them. So next step what I will do, I will pick a motorbike and then I will ask the person to take me around this town. To take me around the town then I will do my parking shot. They call it Uhuru Street, not Uhuru Highway, but to the Maasai community. So as it is being said that the war that was fought, it was uh, between two uh, two communities yeah that was because of the Maasai came with their kettle and the, the, the Kikuyus were against it what is here? Huh. it's a field let me see what is in the field I'm sweating huh Oh. Just like in Nairobi, where we have Uru uh, Gardens, where uh, people come to, to discuss. So mainly, though, all of them are students. These are students, pure. It resembles, this place resembles Mlirukaden in Western. Western province. Bottle. Okay. Let's throw it there. So in the next step I'll be, I'll be on a motorbike. Moving around uh, this, yes. Moving around this, uh, this uh, town. Deca, let me sit here. Yeah, and then we continue. Yes, brothers. Good, huh? You want to say hi? Say hi. How are you? English very hard, huh? Yeah? Natoka opinion. Rwanda? Yes. Rwanda ma Kigal. Kigal di Rwanda, isn't it? Tanzania? Oh, what's up? So let me finish my my juice, then I'll be on a motorbike. So meet in the next step. I'm on a motorbike, so let's enjoy the view of uh, Thika Town on a motorbike. Schools have closed, that's why you can see too many people in town. And also, it's a working day. That's why you can see too many people. Yeah. So enjoy the
That is my first impression of the Qatar. And also me being the new person here that I don't know much. But uh, the place is well clean, well kept. Only a few errors. With that one we always have to understand. So I was in this Christina, Christina Wangari. I was inside here drinking that juice. I was there. I took the motorbike from and this is where we are ending okay. so let me look for a, for a place I clean my shoe then uh, shoe cleaning these guys I don't know what he's doing there, but let me see. No. Let's move around. Let's get lost. Oh, you can see too many people. The last time when I was here, I never saw a lot of crowd like this. It was not like this. And today I'm seeing we are too many. So let me look for a place, I clean my shoe, then I look for a, I move around as, as I do my winding up, for him is, uh, he washes but he has a client there already. It's not like Nairobi city, Nairobi city. Everyone, like each stage, we'll see people are washing shoe. Yeah, in each corner. Bimbo. Not easy to locate anyone. Let me check here. I can see they are selling shoes. So maybe we have someone who can clean. My shoes are a bit dirty, so I need it to be washed. Yeah. Need it to be washed. None. None is here. Same place. Huh? The same place I was. Say that we will eat mukimo but after i saw the juice i decided to buy that so for the mukimo part we have skipped it one thing is we have too many areas we have uh, many areas that uh, i will share that mukimo is not only theka that you it's a a prominent place where you will find a lot of people who are there are kikuis no you have too many of them I'm looking for a shoe shiner. I can't find one. Maybe I'll have to skip that that part. Then we do another thing. Yes. Mm 
Dunyu Dunyu Jack Now here we will we'll find other other stages that are going like Kat, Katura Kiriru Okay But those ones I'm not aware about them so I can't comment too much on them so my first impression about this uh, small town the town is well kept and uh, vehicles are following the traffic rules the roads are well marked I haven't engaged with too many people only the the driver that was the bike guy who was good but it was not on camera it was off camera because I had to explain to him what I want. Remember, I don't know places in Thika town, so it was very hard for me to tell him, take like in Nairobi, Nairobi city, I will enter, I will pick any, any bike and tell that person, take me to this area. But now here I have to explain myself first. I want you to take me around the town for two minutes at how much, so that one, I decided not to record. As I can see this seems like uh, no, let me not speculate but always such they are always Indian temple when you see such but let me not speculate let me move up to that that place and it's uh, Kiambu County The separation is very big, but still it's in Kiam. So everyone is at work. You can see also the parking. Uh, well, can I say illustrated or well, <laughs> well drawn? <laughs> Yeah, I was a bit correct. You can see that is a uh, Jain temple. And you see that always. Uh, for me, when I see this with that flag, I just take it like it's for the Indians, for the Hindu. Yes. Let's see on the main gate what is written there. It's written Zika Osh Oshwal. Okay, Zika Oshwal. Well, say that no, no posters. On the, on the roundabout you have that as a pineapple uh, can I say it a drawing or a, man, a drawing let me say like that so Dika mainly it has the biggest farm of pineapples okay very big farm of pineapples this is for the Kenya Revenue Authority KRA which uh, take tax you have to tax I don't know where where I where is the main stage going back to Nairobi CBD but it's still very early I cannot get lost so let me move around Maybe along the way I found the guy who who cleaned the shoe then. I wanted to clean my shoe but it's not that dirty. But as I felt that I should clean it. And also it's about to rain and I'm very far. I'm very far uh, from Nairobi CBD. Very far. Let me use it again. Too much far. Yes.
trying to remember where I was uh, when I was coming from uh, CBD where, where I enlightened from the vehicle so that's what I'm trying to imagine only moving around without any proper way out may not understand also maybe I'm in an area where I'm not supposed to walk but for me I just move like that I see the street when when you are moving around and you meet we go to a place where you have too many ladies you always have to ask yourself uh, where am I yeah <laughs> I'm lost like uh, oh you have this metal oh, let me let me move like this if I move like that I will I will get their stage they go straight to my Robbie CBD Then one thing I've noticed about this uh, small town is uh, it acts like uh, Nairobi downtown. Okay? The same business that are happening in Nairobi downtown, the same thing I've been able to, to see uh, a number of people on the street. It's like it acts like Nairobi downtown. Same. written as I am I'm focusing up just to see anything written Nairobi <laughs> but once I'm in this in the stage I'm able I'll be it will be very fast for me to to find it okay Kiria. Not this side where I'm going. Yeah, the same vibe like uh, the one we have in Nairobi downtown. Same, same vibe. Same. You can see this goes to Meru, but I'm not going to Meru. I have to go back to Nairobi CBD. This is Chuka Meru direct. Nyeri Nakuru Land of pineapples you can see that being sold to to locate them no one which are going back to Nairobi CB <laughs> Yeah, 
Special Mataya Thai news. So guys, that was a very short vlog of uh, La Tika Town, okay? And uh, at the time, I have to say thank you very much for watching this video up to this end. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.